Very good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with Dan Walker and Louise Minchin. Headlines for you at six o'clock this morning. Good morning, it's Wednesday, it's the 17th of March and the Health Secretary has insisted the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine is safe and urged all UK citizens to get the jab as soon as it's offered. Matt Hancock was speaking after Sweden and Latvia became the latest European countries to stop offering the vaccine following safety concerns. Dan Johnson has more. Hair salons and garden centres in Scotland will be allowed to open from the 5th of April under a lockdown easing plan announced by the First Minister Nicola Sturgeon. Residents will have to stay in their own local authority area until April the 26th when shops and gyms will also reopen. Our Scotland reporter Alex... An Australian bird is now so critically endangered that it's at risk of forgetting its own song. Right. Beautiful bird, isn't it? Never heard of a honey eater before, but there you go. Haven't you? No? Oh. Have you? Yes. Um, no. Anyway, here's Carol. Hey, Carol, any, <laughs> any, any honey eater <laughs> knowledge? Thank you, Carol. No. Carol, thank you. Thank you, Carol. And you've probably noticed an increase in rush hour traffic in recent weeks. And our roads are beginning to get busier as lockdown continues to ease. In London, however, one in 20 people now live in a low traffic neighbourhood where bollards and fines are supposed to keep cars out, in theory at least. The schemes have been extremely controversial in the capital and now there may be one coming to a street near you as our chief environment correspondent Justin Rowlett can report. Well, that's fascinating. Yes, I imagine you might want to get in touch about that today. <laughs> Do you, please feel free. Yeah, BBC Breakfast at bbc.co.uk. So it's an interesting point, isn't it? Because I suppose, if, let's say, for example, if 100 cars use a road and you no, close I'm that road off... I'm just not going to enter into the discussion. But then those, those cars then have to use another, another road, road to get where they need to get to. On the, on, the other, on the other side of that, Dan, you could say that they could maybe not use their cars, it, is the point of That it. is the entire there we go. two sides of the argument. Let us know Lit what you think. Paper. Uh, should we have a look at what the papers are talking about this morning? Because I suppose, if, let's say, for example, if 100 cars use a road and you no, close I'm that road off... I'm just not going to enter into the discussion. But then those, those cars then have to use another, another road, road to get where they need to get to. On the, on, the other, on the other side of that, Dan, you could say that they could maybe not use their cars, it, is the point of that. Time to do the papers today, but there's one headline I want to talk to you about. Remind me later, will you, to mention, uh, I need to talk to you about Masters of the Universe, okay? Just remind, uh, later on. Um, don't, look, don't look too excited. Uh, right, quick one for you. Curry House in, in uh, Glasgow has teamed up with a drone operator, and they're going to try and deliver curries via drone. I want you to guess the headline. I said pop a drone, but I know I'm wrong. <laughs> no? Okay, so get <laughs> that on. thought in your head. Curry House using drones, and the headline in the Sun is Play. <laughs> Uh, 6.21. Um, if you're hoping to take a holiday somewhere in the European Union this summer, I bet lots of you are, we should find out more today about whether you'll need to prove you've had a COVID jab and a recent negative test. Uh, the information could be held on a so-called digital green certificate, which has already been dubbed the vaccine passport. And for the tourist industry, in countries like Greece and Spain, it can't come soon enough. Guy Hedgeco reports from Benidorm. We've got a 10-year-old in our house, Louise, who loves the Beano. He literally runs to the front door. Oh, when it comes I used to, the to love bean the Beano. Uh, let's speak now to the editor of the Beano, Mike Sterling, and also to the YouTuber and Strictly Starge. That's something we'll be talking about later in the programme as well. We're going to return to the story we mentioned about Uber now, which said it will give its UK drivers a guaranteed minimum wage holiday pay and pensions from today. It comes a month after the American firm, which allows users to hail a car using an app, lost a five-year legal battle in the British court. Oh, let's hear from an Uber driver this morning, joining us from Edinburgh this morning, where he's talking about those changes to the way uh, Uber deal with their drivers. They are now entitled to holiday pay and, and a pension and various other measures as well. Uh, 28 minutes past six. Uh, right now, the news travel and the weather, wherever you are. Good morning, you are watching Breakfast with Diane and Louise. Uh, coming up for you on the programme. The um, Sally's here to talk about, take us through quite a lot of sport this morning. Be a, a pun judger. 
Go on. You, you We've got time. Carol, just very quickly, listen in. You know, I mentioned this curry house earlier that's, that's planning on delivering <laughs> curries via drone. Well, the headline in the paper was plain naan. I've asked people to suggest their own. So you can have plain naan, you could have vinda flu. Right, which or, I like a lot. Or chopperdom. <laughs> I think... Carry on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We'll be talking to uh, Kwasi Kwarteng from the government about that at 7.30 this morning, amongst other things. Uh, right now, the news, the travel and the weather, wherever you're watching us, we'll have the headlines at 7.00.